In this video, we're going to take a look at solving exponential and logarithmic equations and inequalities using graphs. And the process that we're going to use, because these equations are in one variable, what we're going to do is break it up into the two sides, set each of those equal to y, and then look for an interaction between the two sides to see if we can't come up with a solution. So, for this first one, what we're going to do with our graphing utility is set the left-hand side equal to y, and then we're going to set what's on the right-hand side equal to y. So, depending on the graphing utility that you use, whether it's uh, an app on your smartphone, whether it's a graphing calculator, whatever, um, you can figure out how to use that to put those things in. And when you do that, the first part, the log piece, that graph is going to look something like this. Okay, it comes through there. We have an asymptote right there along the y-axis. So that's that piece. The second part is going to come through. That's going to be y equals 2. Okay, so again, just to be clear which these are, this red line is the graph um, of y equals the log of x to the third and the purple line here is the graph of y equals 2 okay so what I did was set up the left hand side of the equation set it equal to y that gave me this and then I took the right hand side of the equation set it equal to y as well which gave me this now what am I looking for? I'm looking for where these two things are equal. Huh, where they're equal. Well, where is that going to show up? That's going to be where they cross, right there. Okay, so in this case, they're crossing right about there at that point. So what we can do then is, depending on, again, the graphing utility that you're using, we can figure out where exactly that intersection is. So that point and the utility that I'm using, you can choose that point. Right there's the point. Now, what is the solution? The solution in this case is going to be the x-coordinate. That's where they're crossing right there. The 2, well that's the y-coordinate. That's how high we are. And doesn't that make sense that it's 2? Because, well, we graphed y equals 2. That's that line. So the solution is right here is going to be x is 4.64 is our solution. So x equals 4.64. And we could check that by putting it back in. And that's an approximation. I doubt that's exactly 4.64. But if we put it back in, cube it, then take the logarithm of that, I'd be willing to bet we'd come up somewhere in the neighborhood of 2. Okay? So, that's how we can solve an equation. Again, we set those two sides equal to y and create the graph. Now, we can use a similar method to solve inequalities as well. So what we're going to do, again, we start out exactly the same way. We're going to graph what's on the left-hand side, setting that equal to y, and then we're going to graph what's on the right-hand side, setting that equal to y. So let's go ahead and bring in those graphs here. So the first graph right there, this is the left side. So that's y equals 2 to the x minus 5 power gives me that graph. Then I graph the other part, which is y equals 1, okay, which brings this purple line right here, just a horizontal line going through 1. Then, well, Let's think about this and think about what we're going to look for here. Well, in an inequality, it says this part is less than or equal to 1. On a graph, when something is less than it, is it higher or lower? Can we think about it like that? I think so. Isn't the higher we go on the graph, the larger it is? So if I want to know when this side is less than 1, I'm going to look for where on 
my graph is the red line, because that's this one. Let me just jot that in here so we remember the pieces. Okay, that is, oops, let me get to the right thing here. That's right here, okay. That's the y equals 2 to the x minus 5 power. And then this line right here is y equals 1. Okay, so again, we're looking for when this thing is less than this thing. Well, where would that be? We'll take a look. Right here, isn't it? It's lower than that. Okay, so my inequality, my solution here is going to be, well, any time, oh, we got to figure out where that is. Okay, we have to know for sure where that is because it's going to be from here over. Those are my x values where that part is less than 1. Alright, so let me bring in that last piece here. And again, you can use your graphing utility, figure out where those lines are crossing. And if we do that, okay, right there is that point. So that point is 5, 1. So that means we're over 5, up 1. So what is my solution going to be? Well, if I take the x values, because this is, I'm solving for x, it's going to be when x is, well, it's going to compare to 5. Where is it less than? Over here, right? Okay. This is lower than that line right there, all the way over that way. So anytime x is less than or equal to 5, that's going to be a solution up here. Okay. And we could put that in there, less than or equal to 5. Well, if it was 5 minus 5, that would be 2 to the 0 power, which would be 1. 1 is equal to 1. But then if we go smaller than that, let's say if we have um, 4, for example. 4 minus 5 would be negative 1. 2 to the negative first power, we'd flip that down, we'd have 1 half. Sure enough, 1 half is indeed less than or equal to 1. Okay? So... To solve exponential and logarithmic equations and inequalities with graphs, the first step is to break up the equation or the inequality into two equations that we set equal to y. We graph those, then we look for the interaction between the two. If it's an equation, we're just looking for that point where they cross. If it's an inequality, we're going to look for Thing, something being higher or lower. So if this was greater than, well then, that would be the part over here. It would be greater than or equal to 5 if that inequality was flipped. Okay. These graphs, I just want to let you know also, were created uh, at desmos.com, which is a great free online graphing calculator. If you haven't tried it, you've got to try it. It's outstanding for all your math. Great zooming, uh, colors, all kinds of amazing things that you can do. Check it out completely free. Um, I strongly encourage you to take a look at that for all your math stuff. All right. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on all your math. I know you can do it.